Greetings, ladies and gentle players. It is March 6th, 2020, a Friday, and that means it's another wonderful day for basics. Thought today I would hop on my 8Q account over here on good old Fox, which means I have no idea what, we've, what we're going to play against. I just don't. This level, it can kind of get a little murky as to uh, what you're playing against, but we're, we're going to try to play, you know, some DDK goodness. And then maybe switch over to OGS and do the exact same thing. So anyone who is hoping that we would hit up with a nice Basics DDK video, aren't you in luck today? And speaking of being in luck, anyone who has not been able to access Baduk.club's website, I think that has now been fixed. I have received word that this particular happy little map should now be loading for everyone. There are now 225 meetups all around the world. And in my opinion, uh, the website's even more responsive than it was previously. So good news all around. So if you, for some reason, were looking for Go Clubs or wanted to add your Go Club and you weren't able to previously, go ahead and go over to Baduk.club. And I think now you'll be able to go ahead and do those things. So cool. Thanks to them, as always, for being amazing sponsors of this channel. Got a game. We are white, and we are going to be focusing today, I think, on groups again. I have received word from numerous people that focusing on groups is apparently a thing that interests many. So I will be going over some weak groups and strong groups and explaining why each of them are the way they are in closure. Bam, block extend. Thought about pulling off a little bit further one, but nah. He approached. I will go ahead and back off on that one too. Now here we could respond here or not. I mentioned at the start of like, I don't know, last year or something that we weren't, we weren't going to be responding to this anymore. So I'm going to continue that philosophy and play over here. If you want to answer the 3-3, you can answer the 3-3. It's fine, whatever. It's just it's not the largest move in the history of ever right now. So if you don't want to play it, you don't really have to. So far, everything is pretty straightforward. We did the uh, block extension, and then he went corner, which is good. I went corner. Fantastic. Now, he's blocking this way, which means he needs to develop this area here. Does that mean I have Sente out of this? Is that what that means? Means I have Sente out of this. Which means if I want to take a big old boopy point right there, I can do so because he has a wall that faces nowhere. Or I could get an extend or an enclosure for my extension. I think I'm gonna prioritize mine. Both of them are pretty good. Moves that he might want to consider are the 3-3, three, three, the approach, or maybe an invasion down here. He took the top move. That means moves that I want to consider are the upper right answer here, finally, potentially, or an invasion, or an extension to block his little red point there. Ooh, choices, choices, choices. Um... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the bottom one kind of like starts scooching his territory on over like a bunch of lines. So I'm going to grab that for myself. And I went two instead of three because I leave three. Then obviously he can like throw in in the three. And then there's like a raw kind of thing going on here. Um... I might give him a pass on this one. This is actually not Sente. I can play here and reverse Sente and take another move. But that's kind of like him passing against me, which does not feel fair in the slightest. So I'm going to answer this, but let, just, just know when you encounter this, play here instead. They have to back off and then you're alive and then you can do whatever you want. But sure, I'll give him, I'll give him a do-over. I'll give him a do-over. Ooh. Now we're getting feisty. All right. Well, I could take this again. I, I don't, there's no reason not to, as far as I can tell. I could also come out. It's fine, too. 
I'm just going to come on out. Make sure you're not getting surrounded. Reason why I don't take the 3-3. Three, three. If I take the 3-3, three, three, there's like pushes and stuff. Now I'll do it. Now I'll do it. But I'd rather come out and take the corner, take the corner and get potentially surrounded because we've already identified he wants the influence. So we've got to keep be mindful of that, you know? This is an almost correct move. This is a better one because it would threaten going bonk or bonk. But instead he played here, which is just not so great, you know? We are going to defend against him going to the corner, just like so. New range of moves. Do I have Aji in corner? Invasion. Um, I don't want him surrounding me, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap that too. For him, where's his big moves? Does he have any? Hmm. You know, I'm not sure if he has any big moves. All right. I'm black. Where do I want to go? I'm black. I want to play. I want to play. I want to grow because my opponent's got a buttload of influence or buttload of territory. And defending invasions is kind of small. So maybe if I'm black, I want to like do a little cappy doodle for him to grow. Something like that, I guess. I'm poking here kind of randomly. Kind of as an extra defense in my corner. Kind of as a heavy move. It's not necessary, but it makes me feel better. And then, boop, into the next invasion point that we've already marked many a move ago. This is a weak group, mind you, because it has no base. This is not a weak group because it has a base and it's out. Same thing here, nice and strong. It got out and a base, nice and strong. This one's got plenty of shape. It's a corner. It's pretty good. These two stones are now weak because they're cut off, and these are weak because they're cut off. This can be made weak if I can surround it to remove its uh, base. Ooh, this is the easiest life you've ever done, did see. I'm going to go walk through, like, the easiest thing. I'm just going to play here. Hilhane. Where's next move, Vihanes? Where is it? You DDQs, where is it? Can you see it? You just need to make life. Well, I can come out. So the correct answer is to play there. Uh, you don't have to play it right now, so you could have come out. Um, I guess since I've committed myself to living here, I could just kind of show you how that would happen. I would play here, right? And then if you tried to surround me, I would do like Atari and Atari. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm not, I'm not playing Ko specifically because I'm just not playing Ko. This shape sucks, I know. I'm just not playing Ko right now. Oh, he's going to make me do something silly. Don't, don't try to surround me. It doesn't work. Please don't. Good. Reason why it doesn't, by the way. If he had tried to cut through me, we'd go here. Right? If he tries to kill it, I heard the double click. If he tried to cut through it, or kill a stone, sorry, then we'd play here. And now note, the double Atari. So when we play here, he had to back away. We'd push. Um, still play the cutting point. Only we'd play here now. He takes this one. He might try and take this one, but can't take, can't defend at all. It's just not possible. And we know it's not possible because once we get to this point, cutting point, cutting point, cutting point. Ugh, so bad, so bad. Either way, we're out now. I'm threatening a direct cutting point here. I'm threatening an Atari here, and then we're going to jump out. 
Now, he should have connected solidly here, because I can still play this one, because of the Ataris. I Atari, and take the two stones. So we're going to come on out like so. I think the red move is still good, so I'm going to leave it on the board. And I think my move is still a big one, so I'm going to leave that one on the board as well. And I'm just going to go and round this off with a little bit of a jumpy. A little bit of a jumpy doodle. Nice and a simpale. This guy is playing a little bit good. Am I going to throw a game to him? Mm, maybe. He hit me, so I'm going to respond. Keeping my strength all nice and strong. Don't want him to haunt me for no reason. Then I have to protect my shape, and there's more forcing moves, and it's all yucky. Alright, so what's next? I can play here because the Hane had two stones. So that's proverbial, right? Proverbial. This is connected up, so this is pretty strong now. And now I am completely connected. 100%. I can't even tell you now how huge this move is. Mm, 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 mm. You do the throw in stuff. He's gonna do the throw in stuff, isn't he? Okay, he's not. That's fine. Um, play here. Yeah, sure. That should do her. Make sure we're nice and alive. Uh, finding new stuff to listen to is becoming a little bit of a... Alright, so I'll play here. We are alive now. Alright, now I'm losing my mind. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I can probably play here, because if he throws in, it's not the end of the world. Um, Fight was worried about here, I can play this one first, and then he plays here, I play here, and then I play here. Uh, that helps me live a little bit. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and play here, though. Alright, sure, whatever. I'm alive, you're alive, we're all alive together. Nothing weird, I'm just alive. But this red point really needs to be taken, like, now. Not gonna lie, that point, oh my god. It's so huge. Ideally, instead of, uh, let's, I forget which move it was, I should have played the shoulder hit here to just like immediately grow and reduce. I don't like it. You lost your chance to play it. All right, do I want to go into his corner? Not really. Not really. Now, if I was playing a more aggressive game, I'd probably play this one. Instead, I'm going to play something a little bit more traditional. Here, maybe? Yeah, I don't see any reason to showcase the uh, the thingy there. Alright then, I will go ahead and threaten to cut through. What are you going to do now? The move up here is coming really, really big. I'm probably going to play it soon. For now, though, we're just going to go and take some biggie points in the middle. Don't rightly care where they are as long as we're extending off this little guy. I think he's got to reduce it. He can't let me finish off my four lines of territory. Or he can get four lines of his own. Fair enough, fair enough. So there's a lot of really nice endgame moves on this board right now. There is, is this little guy, like I mentioned earlier. This one's really, really big too. And if we were being really evil, we could play here too. Do I get sent out of here? Finish it off? I have a lot of lines. One, two, three, four, five, six lines of so four. Not bad, actually. But we want to play Sente first. We're probably going to play here. Remember, Sente is super important. 
He just gave me Sente because when he plays here and cuts off my one stone, I can Atari back and kill his stones. He probably does not want that to happen. So let's go ahead and take it. Drop down. Down, down, down. Yep. And then I'll play Sente first. <clears throat> Hane is a questionable idea. I might let him get away with it. But I could cut right now as well. It's kind of messy if I try to fight it. I'll, I'll, just go and, I'll go and let him have it. There you go. You can have it. And then let's go and see what this one's up to. Remember, Sente first. We want to play here, but we're threatening. Here we threaten to swoop away his territory. Here we're threatening to swoop away all of his territory. Ah, uh, this is really big. That's too big. I gotta, I gotta play it. Way too big. Gotta be played. Gotta play it. Takes away a nice chunk here. Ooh, that was unfortunately Gote for him, however. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish off our little four lines. Next round of big moves, Hane Asante. Um, this poke is also a thing, along with this still. And... That's about it. For him, on the other hand, he could play something like uh, this one. It's kind of big. I'll grave him that one too, sure. This little guy is kind of huge. And we're kind of sharing that in common. It's not the biggest thing in the history of ever, but this is also possible to kind of like force me back a little bit. So I think those are, oh, not the sound anymore. A little bit passive, but okay. This one now, however, is lost. He plays it. I'm going to honey on the inside and kill. Now these are nice and strong. So he removed that as a possibility, which would have been a very good one to get in. Let's see if he can get in any of the next large ones. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Really? I am. He's going to honey now. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. False alarm. I thought he was going to Hane over here and try to fight his way in. But yes, this is pretty big. Pretty big. Pretty big. Nice and gentle moves, too. He's got his eye on the upper right, so this should be played, like, right now. Because he's already looking at that part of the board and try and figure out what forcing moves are around. So this one's probably going to be next. This is probably definitely next up, right? Okay, that's fair play there, too. Maybe here into here? If he plays here, though, I'm going to play this one instead. Sente for me. Alrighty then. If I play here, is it good? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Seems like it might be complicated though, huh? We don't really want to do complicated though, do we? I don't think we'd really do. So let's go ahead and take. Just a biggie move over here. Get those off the field. I can Hane, because if he clamps, I can just go up. Yep, he can push me back. That is absolutely true. But he's got to be careful because he can't let me play this one. So I don't think I'm going to be playing this one anytime soon. The red one there is still available for him. 
It's also available for me. Yes, yes, yes. Still, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, let's see. This is actually worth a couple of points now, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to play this one instead because it threatens a monkey jump. So if he plays here, I'll just play this one instead. If he drops down, then I can Hane because it's Sente. Um, you can play here. I guess I can play this one. No, I'll take his move first. All right. And I don't want him doing similar to me. So I will end with that. All right, there we go. I've got two corners and a swath of the middle of the board. He's got one corner and some stuff here and there. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Ooh, close move. I'm going to play here first because if he plays here and then doesn't respond to me, the clamp kills him. So this is Sente because this has three liberties. If I play here, it has two. And my stone has one, two, three. So this does die. Um, that's Ko. I don't know if I want to play a Ko, though, to be honest. Tell you what, I'll just play here. How's that sound? He can't cut me off, otherwise the cut kills him. Right? Weirdly enough, because of this move here, if he cuts me, Atari there, and he's dead. He can Hane, though. He Hanes, I'm going to connect. He connects. That's Ko again! Why do you keep threatening a Ko, sir? Excuse me. Ah, uh, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want a Ko. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna Ko. It's still a Ko. He has to play here. I'm letting him get away with a lot here, though. Not gonna lie. If I play here, I'm locally dead. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> if I play here, he like throws in, right? I play here. No, actually, I'm okay. I play here. Then he plays here, and then I'm on, uh, and then I play. And, yeah, and then. Yeah. So I think that would kill me. Fine. You get to play this one. You're welcome. Jerk. That admittedly, I gave him a lot there by not playing the co. I did give him a lot. I admit that was a lot. That was that was a bit much, as they say. Um, <sighs> punk. Intriguing. This move works, and it's so adorable. I might play it. I don't normally play this kind of stuff in, in end game, but he did. He he got me for some end game. I'm gonna take him for some end game too. Okay, it's nice and fair. I took him. He, he took me for some end game. I'll take I'll take him back. You know, can exchange there a little bit because you see here he can't honey in because of the cat into this one. Um, sir. Uh, this is about to get really bloody if we're playing an exchange. He takes my two stones, but I take his three. Yeah, he can push through here and take my two. Oh, door, hodor, hodor, hodor. So now I get this, but he gets this. I think mine's worth more. I think mine was worth more. Like, he's got to play here now. Ooh. Force in first. Because now the Atari here that works. Right? Atari there. And protect. So we exchanged some endgame there. We agreed to mutually exchange endgame. 
Mm -hmm. If I get to Atari, he has to connect if I cut here. He has to take the stones, otherwise I'd just drop down and kill him. So that would be unfortunate. Let's go ahead and force that. Cut him off. Good. And then we'll just chill again. He can push here and then do the swim, Sentai. Okay, he's going to. Uh, excellent. This has been a pretty decent uh, 8 cube, not gonna lie. This move is absolutely enormous now. Because if I play here and he doesn't respond, there's an Atari here, an Atari here into a kill. So I'm going to play my big move first in respect for this man's game. This man's got game. We're making an insane exchange here, apparently. Because now there's an Atari. Into this one. Wait, do I have to back off? Am I killing him? No, right? Because the stone dies, and then he's got two, four, six. Yeah, he shouldn't die. He's just going to get reduced. Like here, right? Wait, but then I can play here. No, it's fine. Because what do I do? Play here, into here, into here. Oh. Tell you what, I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna back off on that. We're not trying to kill anybody. We ain't trying to kill anybody here. So I'll, I'll, I'll back off on that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll back off on that. You can, you can do that, buddy. I'm sorry, I, I got a little poke happy. To be fair, I actually legitimately did that because he's been showing some pretty good, um, decisions this game. So I thought I'd, Show him some extra little lodgy stuff up in the corner. Like, legitimately, that's all I was trying to do. I thought he earned the right to see this mistake. Okay. <clears throat> so we have corner here, middle, corner, corner, and Comey. Now, I think that's probably going to be about the end of the game, so I'm going to go ahead and go to review. Alright, so unfortunately he let his time run out. But we can go ahead and review this a little bit anyway. So, let's see. Here, he grabbed the enclosure, so obviously I just blocked the extension from said enclosure. Uh, you approached me instead, and now we could answer... Hello? Uh, sir? What? Alright, this one works. Uh, so, we could play here, into here, into here, into like here, into here, into here, into like here, and then the same thing does to you, and you know, you continue that fashion. It's It's very, very simple and... Can't really go wrong with it. But this move here is a little bit she is a little bit uh, shy, right? Don't have to really play it right now if we don't want to. So instead, we just play here. He blocked the wrong way. He really needs to block this way. Into this one. And take more of a territorial approach to this game. This would be all completely fine. And then I'll probably play something like a Zisvan. Or maybe this one. I'm not sure which one yet. But he blocked to nowhere. I grabbed my closure. He grabbed his extension. I made sure he could not play here. Because that kind of grows this side, as I mentioned. And then here, reversing is this way. Because you notice in the actual game, when I played here, he played the Hane. 
But now you can cross cut and there's no really good answer for it, right? If you play here, you can take this one and to this one. And we don't really want to have to play this way because we're about to die. And that's a bummer. You know? Being pushed onto the second line like that is just, it's just not good. It's just not good. Um, you could cut and then go to co, but mm, it's not very good either. Let's, let's, let's face it. That's not, that's not very good either. So usually we're going to play this one and then maybe even this one, at which point we're alive here to go back and play, um, you know, whatever other move we want to do. Because this does not uh, kill, right? That's the best he can do. And as you can see, we've, we've already got, we got two eyes, right? Play away again, he plays here, 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 into here, and then there's no throw in, right? Well, he played here, he got a base, that's a little bit bad. I would prefer the shoulder hit here if you're going to do it this way. And then just get shape here, or maybe play here into coming out. Anything like that would be absolutely fine. Instead, you just kind of got a heavy group running around, which isn't the greatest thing in the history of ever. And then I thought he was going to play here into something like this one. And then we were just going to live this way. But he played this way, we could just come out. Instead, we oops, but this is fine. Just got to show how this doesn't work, which is, which is just great, which is just great. I gave him Sente one last chance to go back and play here. Bear, make no mistake, if he'd actually found this move, he wins the game. We backed off a little bit. We were a little bit, uh, we gave him Sente a couple of times. We gave him opportunities to find big moves again. We didn't really keep his uh, groups apart. So yeah, if he finds the next this big move for me, he actually wins. He beats me. He beats me. That's great. Now, if we were being a little bit more aggressive, then after this kind of thing, we'd probably play here or even something as simple as here because he actually has, at the moment, not just one, not just two, but three groups in the area that are all trying to like connect up and do something. So if you just start splitting them, I've done videos about this in the past, everything comes crumbling down, right? So if you're gonna be aggressive, that would be a fantastic move to be able to see. Especially if you can see that, hello, you have an emergency out with your top group by being able to go back and play here. Cool? Cool. Let's go play on uh, OGS. OGS now. All right, got a game. I am black against a 9Q over here on the OGS. And I'm recording. I <laughs> wasn't sure for a minute. Um, I'm going to play Orthodox, I think. I haven't done an actual orthodox opening in I don't know how long. So let's just go and grab ourselves a slap happy little enclosure. See what he does next. He's extending there, which is incredibly bizarre. Um, I'm going to take a next large point, which is, I mean, this, I guess. But I'm not really sure what this stone's doing, so I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not deal with it right now. Like, if he gets an enclosure, this is an enclosure with a two space extension? That's incredibly small. Let's be let's be honest with ourselves. That would be an incredibly small extension from an enclosure, right? So do we really have to be afraid of that? It doesn't, it doesn't seem to make sense, right? Um I'll just go into this corner. 
Normally here, I would change directions, but this is fine. For our poipuses, this is all gizzy. Okay, he should connect solidly here and not go under, I think, right now. Uh-huh. Right now what? Teach me your ways. Lao Mafu. Uh, okay, he's gonna keep pushing. I will extend. Don't want him killing my stone. What now? Ooh, send it to me. Right, so, now we have to figure out what's going on on the board. Uh, we usually do corner, side, center. So, corner and corner. Which one's larger to deal with? Well, feast your eyes, ladies and gentle people. On this wiggly little wall he's got over here. We know it wants to go that way, right? Walls wanna do we walls wanna be wally, okay? So I'm gonna make sure he can't do that and take that enclosure, prioritizing that corner because he wants to extend off that wall and he can't do that. So I'm enclosing, I'm blocking his like wall expansion dealios. So we're doing uh, I don't I, I I don't know, like lots of stuff with that move. Lots, 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 lots. Um, I'm gonna have Sente again, because my, my group's still okay, right? So, grab some extensions. Bam! Double extensions from both my corners! Oh! It's beautiful. Now what? Now what, now what, now what? I got a corner. I got an enclosure. I got an enclosure. I got an extension from both of those enclosures. I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. Now, just like little cool moves I want to play in the future. Maybe this one so we can't keep growing. Maybe a shoulder hit to really grow over there like so. And I also want to figure out what the crap is going on over in this corner. All right, which one do we do first? Which one do we do first? Think, 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 think. Well, I kind of want to be greedy and just see if I can grow. But, I mean, we could do that. But we'd usually do corners before our sides and center. So I'll go and approach over here and do this one. See what's up over here. And I'll probably not be able to have children as a result. I'm sure that something will prevent this in this exchange. He kicks me. All right, now if I was gonna play really aggressively and quickly, I'd play here. And he responds and bop, 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 and then boop, and then we're fine. This, however, can get into a really complicated thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just extend. He should pincer me now. Pincer me, pincer, pincer, don't, not too close, two space. I wouldn't go one space, I get to attach to that. Good move. So I could go something over in here, or I can just jump out, or I could do something over in here, but I never really, never really like that. So let's just go and play something like this one, just to come on out. He'll probably poke me once, maybe twice as a result of this, but that's okay. If we check sector lines and stuff, it's like, what, is it to here? That seems like it's fine. Um, is it something over in here? Probably not. Highly unlikely, highly unlikely. What do you want to do now? Oh, he's a jumper. He's a jumping. I'm going to very, very carefully do a one space. We're not going to do two into two, then we're going to get cut to pieces. That'd be bad. We're just going to chill. Just going to chill. Um, I don't really want to have to keep reading out, like, can he cut me now? Can he cut me now? So here's what we're going to do. Ready? I am going to play here. Just to make sure I don't have to keep reading it. It's garbage. I don't want to do it. Okay. All right. Um. Well, wrong, wrong thing. There we go with that one. Throw that double atriari. The doubles. Well, you get shape. Just make the shape. Just make it shape. Shapey, shapey, shape. 
Sheepy, sheepy. Getting myself some sheepies. Go to mind the sheepies. All right. Are we good? Hmm. No, I'm not really feeling it yet, am I? I will do some kind of coming out as well. Oh, hey, it offers an expansion too. Two things at once. Awesome. Didn't mean to do it that way, but hey. Three things. It's going up into his area. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Beautiful move. Beautiful move. It's getting me out. It's poking into his area. Has potential to kind of grow the right hand side. So by that rationale, I really want to get in something like this little guy to like really expand that area, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I want. Ooh, this is a bad lean. If he gives me the center line. Oh, he, okay, he is not. Well, oh, fall back, fall back, men. Fall back! Don't worry, we won't leave any of you boys behind. Rude. Okay, he's cutting, he's, he's cutting in, he's cutting in, he's fighting, he's fighting, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. So we're gonna extend because we want to not be dead. And we don't want him to like capture our stone. And then we're just gonna uh, kind of scoot, scoot, scoot. <laughs> now here you have to be flexible. He could try to kill me, but what do you do then? Hmm. Hmm, if he tries to kill me, what do we do then? What would we do then if he tried to kill me? Maybe give up the stones, right? Atari, Atari, extend, connect. Just remove all of this for points in exchange for two stones. Okay, that sounds like one heck of a deal, right? Trade for two stones, he loses this section here. And make no mistake... Make no mistake, right? Um, like this area here that he could have had would have been worth way more than those two points, right? Ooh, double space jumping. I can threaten, I can ask myself, can I cut through here? Can I cut through here? Does he know that I can't? Did he stop and read it? I don't think he did, but we're going to come out. We're going to connect out solidly, slowly. We're not going to be crazy. Making this kind of shape is going to help me even more. Come back into here and cut him. Two space into a small knight? Is that really a thing? Is it really a thing? Tell you what. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt right now and make shape for my second eye. But if he doesn't defend his two space into two space, we're going to turn this car right around and start cutting things off the guy. Okay. I've made really, really good shape. This is his chance to fix his shape and the game can continue. If he does not fix his shape, now that I fixed all my shape, it makes sense that I'm just going to start taking advantage of that since I'm now in a position of strength. Right? Okay. Um, if he plays there, he could play there. Do I really care about that though? Not really. Play there and then get there. And then there's this one and this one. I could just play this one. I mean, that's fine too. Uh, I'll play her. Whatever. Fix yourself. Oh, I'm gonna ri- Could you not do that, laddie? I like you, my... Me eyeballs. Me eyes are my own. We're gonna cut you. We're gonna cut you. Oh, you're, you're getting cut. Oh, he reinforced his territory here. All right, so simple question now. Which way can I profit the best? Can I profit the best by cutting off these two stones? Because that's one two space extension. Or can I profit best by cutting off that stone? Hmm. 
Hmm. I think it's that one. But maybe this one's better first, huh? Huh. Huh. I'm liking that one, yeah. If he invades, you have to kill him. C'est la vie. It is what it is. If he plays here, I kill it. If he plays here, I kill it. If he plays here, I kill it. Alright. Time to ask questions. How are your double two space extensions living, breathing things? Because right now I'm kind of not believing that they exist in a state of perfect aliveness or something like that. I went out of my way to ensure that I'm fine. You didn't do the same. I demand answers. Okay. Here and to here, I kill his two stones. Hmm. Okay. Let's go and cut his cutting point. Because again, this is a table. That's a pretty bloody strong shape, right? So once we've identified we're strong, we can take advantage of his weaknesses, right? Do not Hane here. Ever. Okay, then. And now I'm going to, again, very, very... I'm not going all the way over here, mind you. I'm going just something as simple as this one. Helping up my corner. Not getting greedy. Massively expanding this, though, right? Ain't that, ain't that nice? Hmm. Not bad. Sente first. Sente for him, sorry, to try to defend this before I begin redu reductions again. There are a few shapey things that I can try. Very, very simple to get in some meaningful reduction here. Okay, that's a good move. Should this little shoulder hit guy was going to be my first uh, attempt to reduction at reduction. Instead, we're going to go and lean over like so. And just nudge ourselves on in. And nudge ourselves on in. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. I don't really want to get rid of all of his points, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not a crazy person. Instead, I'm going to reinforce myself over here. Make sure he can't come in any further. I like a large knight into whatever the heck that was. So we're, we're just going to make sure we're completely fine here. I like it. Maybe this one would have been better over here instead. To reinforce this shape, because the shape is already pretty strong. Yes, maybe it should have been over here instead, maybe. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe so, maybe so, maybe so. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. What else can we do on this board? I don't think we can do much of anything. It's just kind of going into endgame now at like move 83. He might try to launch an invasion. If he does, I kind of hope he does, to be honest. Because then I can show you how to kill like unreasonable invasions. That'd be kind of good. Because I know a lot of y'all, you have to endure people like around this time of the game. What do they do? They like go... All right, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna like play back in here, right? And some of them probably live too. Isn't that annoying? So annoying. So annoying. All 
All right, I responded. Looks like he's not gonna launch an invasion. But if he doesn't launch an invasion, I don't really see a way for him to. All right, he's not gonna he's not gonna invade. All right, then I'll just go ahead and play uh, Endgame, and I will see you all in review. All right, so we got a game, or we got a review here. Sorry. <laughs> Um, game was pretty straightforward. Ah, no real support. Um, right, I have absolutely no idea what this move was. That, that's just weird to me. I approached, he did a way wide open cert. Normally I'd probably play something like this one, but this is kind of like DDK friendly, and I would really hate for him to just like make a mistake in one of the attached Jaseki or something like that, and to get a really, really bad result for no, no reason. Like, I really hate just... Like, if I'm playing, like, a significantly weaker player, I really, really hate going for the variations that give a high chance of them just, like, making a Joseki error. Because that's just kind of like, oh, that's just, hmm. It's like, I memorize more than you. So, really hate doing that. This, nice and simple, everybody knows it. It's been standard, I don't know, since, like, the Dark Ages. Here, understandable, because he's got this one. I can't really say it's a bad move, so I'll, I'll grant it to him. But he needs to, like, hit me up here. Go for the wide expandos, you know? This is just not Sentai. And also, 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 if he played here, I would similarly have ignored him. Because once he play here, which is a common follow-up, unless you play here again, then... This isn't really secured for white yet. Just because, like, you get that hit doesn't mean you've magically surrounded the entire corner, right? There's still, like, a lot of Aji there. So if he wants to actually follow up and, you know, stay solid, he'd have to give me Sente again. Which is why you've got to be careful, like, on the timing of that little guy, right? Because even if you follow up, like, one, three, and, like, one, five, and three gave you no extra points, technically. So... Compare that to this one, and then suddenly we realize we've made mistakes. Right? Mistakes have been made. Black is progressing way faster than white. So careful of that, that small knight. I know it's common. I get it. I get it. It's common, but too soon, brah. So we got the extension. Make sure he can't do that. He should be like... Uh, maybe playing there. I was about to say play here. Just kind of like do a split. Like anything. I don't really care what. Just make sure I can't get my extension from both my corners. Because that's woo, so good. It tries to grow. <clears throat> this isn't really terribly concerning. And I'm going to use math to tell you why. Even though I hate math. In terms of like counting games and stuff. Like right now he might have... 30, 40 points. Okay, do I have 40 points? Well, if my enclosure is worth about 15, my other enclosure is worth about 15, my extension's gotta be worth at least about 10, right? So, 15, 30, 10. And then I've got at least, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12? Yeah, we're good. We're good. I still, I'm still up on the points. And in fact, since he played that one, I could too. And now it's going to be worth more than 10 points. So it's just too small to play this one just yet. I think maybe a shoulder hit is like the best thing we could do here to try to really start growing. But I ain't going to lie. I'm not really liking White's Chance. It's going to be a difficult game of very fast buildy stuff. I played here. Normally I would play this one if they respond. Then congratulations, you got shape. Easiest thing in the world, mate. Can extend here first. Because they have to, like, respond there. And then you can do this one. Mm -hmm. Jumping out. I thought maybe he might consider doing something like this one. Make me heavy. And then maybe trying to ignore. Like, that right there. We can't see a way to surround it. We can't see a way to get a lot of territory by continuing to play there. So you make this heavy, and then you would just play away. Because now, let's say whites or blacks like, oh, hey, I'm going to get so much territory here. Oh, my God. That's amazing. And then white's just going to be like, 
Okay, bro. Live. Live in a way that's not going to give me the entire top of the board on down into the middle and beyond. Like, it'll live. Like, maybe something simple as this, right? Damn, am I alive yet? Maybe, but dude! What's worth more? The three lines here, or... <laughs> right? That's how you properly handle a weak group like that. Am I giving it just way too much to think about? So this is a little bit direct. This is... Like, I could cut through here, and then maybe cut this stone off. Or... Maybe cut this off. Like, you gotta be careful of two space into two space. Gotta be careful. It's not... It's not very solid. Not very solid. But we just... We just did this. We just chilled. Gave him the shapies. Got some shapies for myself. Nice and strong. Just getting my eyes. That one I granted him, but... Uh, he needs to, like... If you play here into like here, make sure I can't cut through that easy, but then then there's this, right? And the problem there, as you can see, is just I don't like it. Like how are we gonna defend all this? We probably aren't, right? Let's be real. Let's be real, we probably aren't. So I just got myself some stuff here. Uh, unfortunately, I never got the chance to see an invasion kill. Uh, I can throw, I can just run through some of the more basic uh, possibilities here. If he plays here, I'm going to kick him. And then from here, I'm going to take away his most obvious attempt at uh, a base over in here. If he plays, that's fine. He plays, that's fine. He plays, be careful with shapes you make, and things like that ought to really help uh, him not be alive, you know? So something like that, maybe. Something like that, maybe. To be fair, I think you could probably do it just by playing here as well. Because it's really, really hard to try to get two eyes in here, you know? It's so, so difficult. That's my basics for today. Hope you enjoyed you amazing DDQs. Give you something to work on. Give you some thoughts as to how to continue your games. And most importantly, just some really solid basic play. You guys have been enjoying the series. And as always, I will see you next time. Take care, buddy.